Hello, I'm Anne from Anne Makes. Thanks for stopping by. Please remember to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below or on the Anne Makes in the corner of the screen there. And don't forget to click on the bell so you can be notified every time I post a DIY how to haul and review video. Today I have a Christmas crafting at the tree, the Dollar Tree that is. This is the first in a series that I will have on things that you can make for your Christmas holidays. Make it cheap, make it easy, make it with Dollar Tree. Today I'm going to show you how I made a holiday planner with simple and expensive items that I purchased at Dollar Tree. If you're interested in seeing how to make a holiday planner as this one, stay tuned, there's a video coming up. First, I have to tell you that I was compensated for this video. The description section of this video also contains affiliate links and I will be compensated if you make a purchase after clicking on my links. So to make this planner, I got a binder, poster boards from the Dollar Tree. I purchased these in store, but I know that binders are available online to my US viewers. To begin, I made a template out of some cheap piece of cardboard that came off some packaging that would be the size I wanted my pages and my page dividers to be. I made a little extra piece, which is that little tab that I'm showing you, and I'm showing you how I move it down the cardboard template to indicate where I will draw the little tabs on each divider. I just use a little piece of tape to hold down that little tab temporarily. And then I trace on to each piece of poster board before I cut out each divider. Once I cut out all six dividers for my binder, I hole punched the three holes in each one. And now I'm just checking uh, if I like 
how they're turning and if I like what colors they're they are and everything is satisfactory so now uh, all I have to do now is cut the college uh, ruled line paper and graph paper to the size that I want to fit in the binder I use the cardboard template as a guide however I do trim the paper down so each page will be slightly more narrow than each divider page. I do like the poster boards. I cut all the paper that I need and then I just hole punch holes into them so I can insert them into the binder. Now with additional stickers from Dollar Tree, I decorate each poster board divider page. To finalize my holiday planner, I chose to create six sections and I created labels with a label maker that I already have. And the sections I made are one for the cards that to send uh, gifts that would be on people's wish lists or gift ideas that I have. There's a section for food, foods to prepare, meals to prepare, recipes that can go in there. I have another section for decor to add things like uh, ornaments that I would like to buy. Stash is a list of where everything is and how much I have. And other will be for all the other things I can't think of at the moment, but I know there will be other things to write about. And to complete the planner, I created a label out of scraps of the poster board, added a sticker and a label that says holiday planner. I hope you enjoyed seeing how easy it is to make one of your very own holiday planner like this one. For more information, please go to my blog at annmakes.blogspot.com where there will also be links for the products I used in this video much information in the description below as well and so what are you waiting for how about you go and make your very own holiday planner the holidays will be here before we know it so let's get planning I hope you liked this video or at least were entertained by it <laughs> please give it a thumbs up if you did please like comment share and until next time stay crafty bye